Hey Squad, welcome back to the episode of Is in Warfin. So today's episode, we got this cool image model here, and basically what this is, is electric wine opener. If you see the one that we got right here from this brand, and right here they do probably got some specs and features on the bottom. If you guys turn to the back, they do show you guys instruction to teach you guys how to use it, and also show you guys what's included inside. So first thing, I should open this up to show you guys what the pot looks like inside first. All right, so once you guys open up, here's basically what the inside looks like. Let's take everything out. So for the inside right here, they do probably guys instruction manual to teach you guys how to use it. And they also show you guys what's included inside. So first right here, we see they probably got a wine pour option. So let's do open up. Here is basically what the product looks like. So this product will help you guys pour the wine out really easy when you guys do use it. Next up right here, we do have a manual vacuum pump sealer option. So pretty much what this is helpful for is to help you guys move the air. So I'm assuming you guys want to stick this into a bottle. And then last but not least, we do have the product right here. So let's take it out. Here is basically what the product looks like. So right here, we do have the brand logo. Bottom part right here, we do have the foil cutter option. And pretty much what that is for to help you guys remove any kind of decorated foil. So you do have the option to take this out if you guys do want to. And then right here, we do have the actual product. So basically, you want to put this on top of your wine bottle when you guys do use it. But right here, we do have two different buttons for the push. So probably one to go in and one to go out. And top part right here is where you guys will open up to put in the battery, which is not included. So let's do open up. Here is basically what the inside looks like. So it does require four AA batteries. So if you guys don't have the battery, you do want to make sure you guys have it first before you guys purchase it. And when you guys do feel the material that's on here, it definitely is stainless steel or high quality material. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Let me just put in battery to show you guys how it works first. So the batteries that I'm using right here is a AA battery that we charge both in the Energizer brand. So basically you want to put this in. And you guys want to make sure you put it on the right side. They do label on top to show you guys which is plus and minus. All right, so once you guys got it in, you have to put it back on the cover and just lock it back in. Once you guys got it locked in, then you press the button to start working. So the bottom one is extract. And the other one on top is release. So extract is the one you guys want to use if you guys want to open it. And the release is the one where you guys want to put it back inside or take it out. So I'm seeing the bottom right here when you guys do use it. They do have a blue indicator light that pops on, so that way you guys know the product is working. And then when you guys press the top button, it does not have an indicator light. It only has it when you got extract. So very easy and very simple for us to use it. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Let me actually go test it out to show you guys when it actually works, and it will come back and talk more product in a second. All right, so right here we do have the product, and right here I do have a wine bottle. So let's try to open it and show you guys when it actually works. So you basically want to open up this one right here first. And then once you guys take it out, here is basically what the inside looks like. So what you guys want to do is to take this part out. And you basically want to insert it in just like this. And when you guys are ready to use it, you basically want to press on button on top. And I forgot to mention, but you do have the foil cutter option. If you guys want to use this option to cut open the foil cap right here, which is what we just peeled off. But let's test it out to see if it actually works. So as you guys are pressing the button on top, you basically want to press it down at the same time so that we can take it out. So just like this. All right, so once you guys do that, if you see the whole entire cork comes out, if you see how it's inside right there. And then once you guys do that, then it's basically all set to start pouring stuff out. And the cool thing about this set is the fact that it does give you guys a vacuum stopper, which is basically this option here. So if you guys stick it in, that basically helps you guys get the freshness of the bottle when you guys do use it. So that way you guys don't have to use a corkscrew option. You guys can use it as a corkscrew, which is pretty cool. So once you guys have this in, they can store it somewhere else and use it when you guys do need to. So really cool how they probably got that option. But now I'm going to show you guys how to use a wine pour option right here to pour some wine out. So I take this out. You guys want to stick this in. Once you guys stick it in, then you start pouring your wine out. So right here, I do have a cup. If you guys pour it out, let me show you guys how it works. So you can see the product definitely does work when you guys do use it. And basically, once you guys are done using the wine pour option, you can take it out and then put that on the vacuum stopper right here. So that way you keep the freshness of the bottle, of the wine and everything, which is pretty awesome. But once you guys finish all that, then you guys are basically all set to start enjoying your wine for what you guys want to use it for. And obviously for the corkscrew option, if you guys want to take it out, you basically want to press the reverse button. So 
and it comes out so easily. So if you guys want to reuse a coarse screw, you definitely can, but you don't have to if you guys don't want to. But that is basically everything that's on the product in terms of how to use it. If you can see, it definitely does work. Welcome back, guys. So let's nice quick test the product and definitely see actually does work, actually works quite well. So if you guys are someone who drinks a lot of wine or if you guys have your own restaurant that actually has a lot of wine, then you probably want to invest in one of these right here. So that way it actually makes it a lot easier for you guys to open up your wine bottle for your customers or for your friends or family when they come over. If you see from the actual test when we do use it, it actually works pretty well and actually makes your life so much easier to open up the wine bottle when you guys do use it. Compared to using like the traditional option, this one works so much better. And I love the fact that how they do probably got the other accessory as well, like the wine porter option and the vacuum stopper option as well. So that way it makes it a lot easier for you guys to actually use it for pouring stuff or keeping it more fresh for a longer period of time. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now that we did come boxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not that's worth or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these. Especially if you got in the market looking for a high quality wine opener that's automatic or electric like the one that you see right here then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. Yeah! But then obviously for those you guys who don't want or don't want or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.